today we're gonna be talking about everything that you need to know before you go out and purchase this. You don't need to downshift, look at that. You don't need to downshift. It really spreads out the light right in front of you. So you see this warning sign right here? That's the uh, side stand down. So all you're gonna do is just loosen up the top clamp right here. I think the company really set themselves up. I gave them that feedback, I just, I, I just don't like it. Third gear, still picking up, still picking up. To another video right behind me we have the 2023 harley davidson roguelide cvo and today we're going to be going over everything you should know about this bike if you are interested in buying it so what we're going to do is that we're going to do a little breakdown in the garage on here going over all the physical things everything that meets the eye and then the other portion of the video will be me riding the bike going over everything how does it feel power technology all that all that good stuff so let's just hop right into it so the brand new 2023 cvo if you guys want to see an in-depth full review of this bike i have one i'm going to be looking it up at the end so you guys could watch that uh but today we're just going to go over all the little main things that you should know about what makes this bike different from the old roguelide what you should know um the key features the key factors what makes it so special that's what we're going to talk about so obviously we're going to start by the front obviously that headlight let's talk about the headlight real quick um if you are wondering if the headlight illuminates the road it does i i took it out the other night um to see how, how that headlight was going to look at night and how it was going to illuminate everything it lights up everything ahead it lights up everything to the sides give you a nice peripheral clean view at nighttime as well so the headlight i love it uh what do you guys think about the design i personally love the brand new redesigned headlight i like how everything is integrated i love how the daytime running light stays running on it so since we're on the subject of talking about the light let's talk about the fairing uh the fairing now is going to give you this nice 12.3 inch uh screen all touch screen um it's beautiful right in your face really clear to see really easy to access um, it's just, it, it doesn't have any lag to the touch of the finger. Um, you're able to do a lot of different things with this screen. So any little feature is all just packaged in that screen right there. Pretty easy just to uh, use the buttons go in and out. Uh, sound system on this CVO sounds amazing. It's a upgraded Rockford Fosca system. It sounds really, really good. I was hitting 75, 80 and, and I could still hear the music pretty clear i feel that thump um so they, they did a really good job upgrading the music system as well one thing you should know about this bike is that um you no longer have to go in and you know get a new lid or do a bigger hole in case if you want a six by nine so six by nines are now drop-ins in these lid covers right here as well so that's a plus you're saving yourself some money right there it sounds great it sounds really really good um, now let's talk about the pockets, uh, the compartments right here in the front guys, um, you just touch them up now, I remember before we had to lift them up, so now it's just a nice little touch, you go like this, they lift up, they both do that, one little thing that they don't have, which I wish Hardy Davidson would have done that, which is give you the access to kind of lock these uh, compartments either with the key fob or just a, a button on here somewhere. But, you know, the fact that you're, you know, if, if you want to step away from your bike and leave something in there, I mean, you are still able to lock your bags, but you're not able to lock these compartments here. I mean, me personally, when I get off the bike, I kind of take my stuff with me. I don't really leave it on there, but I know sometimes we dip in and out of places and, and we do leave some, uh, some belongings in there. Um, but talking about the compartments, they are way deeper now. So you kind of shove your, uh, your arm all up in there as a deeper hole. Um, so you're able to fit a lot more. Um, talking about that, your USB charger, it's not going to be a, what was it, USA, USB, but it's, it's the brand new charger that the iPhones use, so a small one uh, that had the connectivity right here, it's not the USB uh, that was on the, on the roguelite before, um, so that's different now. The bars, I absolutely love the bars, so for a stock setup, it's comfortable, it looks good. And it's adjustable so just know that that you're able to adjust it i know we hate the beat i be personally i hate the beach bar feel on, on the on the stock roguelite um but this now 
you're able to adjust this. All you gotta do is just loosen up the top clamp right here and kind of adjust the bars exactly where you want them to be. If you want to push more forward, if you want them right here with that right now, or if you want them just a little more down. So it's awesome the fact that you're just able to adjust your stock bars now and they look good. So for those of you guys who don't want, want to come out of pocket right away and spend money on bars, the, the, these are a great option. Like they actually, for being stock bars, they look good. Um, and then you have the screen right in front of you. So nothing's blocking the screen. I know some of you guys hate to block the screen. I'm like in the middle. Um, me personally, I would still, if I was to get this bike, I'd personalize this bike to, to, to my liking, to my touch. I would still do like a T-bar setup on here. So depending on, on how or if, if you don't want to block that screen, I probably would do like a short, um, short riser maybe like a six inch riser with a real with a nice tall bend bar that would probably be the best option right here because if you get like a 10 inch or anything like that you're, you're gonna be blocking the screen uh some somewhat uh but i think a six inch riser on here with a uh nice tall bend bar would would, would be a great option and you might be only maybe going over right maybe a half inch of the uh, of the screen if that maybe so Hopefully down the line we, we get to do something like that. Um, the buttons on here, the controls, the controls are different. So you no longer have the volume controls on the left side. It's everything is now combined on the right hand. So it's a little at first it's a little hard to get. You not hard, but it's is it, you, you just find yourself looking for the volume on this side. It's something new. The controls are a bit different. So you're, it's more so spending more time on the bike getting familiarized with it, learning where everything is at. And I'm pretty sure within, you know, with due time, you'll learn where everything is at without even looking at it. Um, but, you know, you have your volume, your uh, music buttons on this side, on, off, cut a switch, and then your dual uh, turn signals on this side. And this right here, you're still gonna have cruise control, which is awesome, it's gonna be on top. So the whole layout is just different. Uh, very, very different from the Rogue Glides. This is more closer to what the layout on the Sportster S would be or on the Pan America, but a nicer quality. So no, this is not plastic. Everything feels premium. Everything feels Harley Davidson. Heated grips, heated grips. Now, one thing you should know is that you only have one button, which is right here on the side of the grip, your left grip. You just press in for uh, two, two or three settings and you're able to get your settings that way. So you no longer have to twist the throttle right here. No, before we had like six settings. Now it's only two or three settings. It's still a six gallon gas tank. Um, one thing about the tank now, uh, well, two things about the tank got redesigned. You're gonna see that it's not so round off-ish like a, like a teardrop uh, tank. Still has a teardrop design to it, but uh, more with those cutoff lines right there. Sometimes, well, most of the time in the videos or in the pictures you wanna see it. In person, you can really tell, um, but it's really, really nice design. Um, one thing they got rid of is the gas cap. So now you're able to just lift this up right here, put in your nozzle and fill up your, your, your tank so no longer you don't have to screw your gas cap and lose it or drop it somewhere. Fill up your tank and everything is on the go. Uh, what else should you know about this bike? Uh, the bags are different. The bags are more of a roundish uh, design now. And that same line that you're gonna see on the tank and throughout the fairing in the front, you're gonna see throughout the bag here on top as well, into the speaker as well. So it has those lines just going from the front to the back. Love the way they just designed everything all together. It just, it just all flows all nice. Really, really, really nice. 121 with the VVT. Um, I know you're wondering, what, what, what does the VVT do for me? What, what is it gonna do? So VVT is gonna help your bike run uh, a lot smoother. And you kinda do feel the high-end power at those you know, higher gears, higher RPM. So you kinda do feel that little buildup towards the end. Uh, it's more so in the higher RPMs. Um, but I, I, I love it. Um, the bike has a ton of torque ton of power it feels great and it's just so smooth we'll talk more about that when we get on the road right now um we got that big air tank right there um you got these um wind deflectors on the side on both sides right here so you're able to adjust them wherever you want you also got to have a wind deflector right here on the top which you're also able to adjust with your hand um adjustable lever there's an adjustable lever but it's only going to be for the 
brake side, I believe. Yep, the brake side. So you're able to adjust this lever um, however you want. So that's, that's a nice little option as well. Um, what else is different on here? 19-inch uh, wheels. Obviously, we know about that. Um, side covers. Side cover, we've got a nice little design of the side cover here. This thing just really pops out. There's nothing really hidden behind here. If you are wondering, it is one piece, not two pieces. That pops up. It's just a design. There's nothing really hiding under there. Um, dual exhaust. This is pretty much it. Everything else we got to talk about, I think we'll get on the road and finish talking about that right now. So I want to show you guys something real quick. So you see this warning sign right here? That's the uh, side stand down. So it's down right now. Um, it's also in gear. And if I hold in my clutch to start it, the bike won't start at all. It's a nice feature, um, something that they do on the uh, Japanese bikes. Let's put it in neutral now and let's see if that works. All right, so it'll turn on on neutral, but as soon as you put it in gear, it shuts right off. You see that? Stand is still down and it shuts off. So it's more of a, of a safety thing. Um, yeah, I guess that's good. So you see what happened right there? I turned it on and you hear that duh, 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 and then it turns on. That happens when you turn the bike on and you're in gear. So obviously I have my, my clutch in, uh, but anytime you're in gear, you turn the bike on, it does that. It won't do it on neutral though. Weird. Oh, what do you have here? We got a Challenger. We got my Road Glide. I'm telling you, we're gonna have some cool content coming up in the next few weeks, guys. We're gonna do a comparison versus between these bikes, versus comparison between this bike and that bike, and then a versus between this bike and that bike. So, a lot of cool stuff, and then a nice little story of how this bike came first, and out of that bike was born this bike. And from that bike, Believe it or not, was born this bike. Go ahead, do me a favor right now. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Make sure to share this video with your friends. It helps out the channel a lot when you guys share the videos, when you guys comment, when you guys like it. You'll be doing me a huge favor. Let's change the mode. Oh, no, well, we have a mode button. So um, if you didn't know, yes, this bike has modes, guys. You hit the mode button. Right now, we are on regular mode. That's sport, as you can see right there. Hit it again. And then we got rain mode. We'll hit it again. We got regular. And one more time. And we got sport mode right there. So, in case you didn't know, this bike does have riding modes, which is great. I said before, some people think that riding modes are gimmicky. I think they're not. I think it's awesome. I think it's pretty cool that you can... Uh, you know, put your bike on raid mode, or if you just want a little bit more power, have a little fun with it, you can put it on sport mode. It's pretty cool, man. Uh, sport mode on here. It's uh, the delivery of the sport mode on this bike. It's a lot better than what Indian has on their bikes, because sport mode on the Indian bikes is more of a, it just, I don't know, it just wants to launch you off the bike. But this is more smoother, and it's more of a, of a nicer build up into it. Um, suspension. Suspension has been upgraded on this bike. It is adjustable on the side. You could adjust your preload. Um, you kind of have to play around with both sides though. So on this side, you're going to have the exposed uh, knob. Um, and then on the right shock, which is the thinner shock, you're able to adjust a few things on there as well. Preload, sag, sag, preload, just a bunch of stuff. Wind deflection on this road glide let's talk about the wind deflection so like i was saying before you have this little option here to kind of deflect the wind from there you're able to adjust this right here on both sides in case you want that wind just to run smoother on your body um, ergonomics feels great but the power delivery on here feels great sport mode even on regular road mode it feels great the power is always there 
Um, one thing about it, um, I don't know if it's because of the VVT. I don't know if it's because it's a 121, but the bike is packing a ton of power. So even at fifth gear, sixth gear, if you, you know, if you're on the highway and you want to just punch on it, like there's, there's a lot of power left in this bike. So you don't really have to be downshifting too much to, you know, get most of that power. How do you guys like the uh, the whole cockpit view right here of the uh, screen? I think the screen is beautiful, man. This screen is a 12.3 inch screen. Believe it or not, the screen is bigger than most screens on cars. On all these brand new expensive cars, they don't even have such nice screens or as big of a screen in those vehicles like this bike does right here. It's the biggest screen on any motorcycle. Uh, from what I've read as well, that is a beautiful Supra. Love the color. Um, let's just uh, let's see if we can hop on the highway real quick. Show you guys how, uh, how she's working. I gotta get some gas for this bike. It's almost on empty. Um, the bike does feel lighter. It is 35 pounds lighter. That's a fact. You could Google it um, or read your brochure. But it's 35 pounds lighter. It does feel lighter um, in the corners. It does feel great, as you can see, going in and out of corners. So it's real easy to handle. Power, third gear, still picking up, still picking up. Shifted to fourth, 88 miles an hour right away. It's it's a monster man it's just a, i'm so impressed with the power delivery because it's so smooth and you feel that power you see it building up on the gauges you feel that power building up on the engine and it just wants to get up there quick 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 but it's so smooth really 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 smooth the transmission is real smooth when you're switching into gears it's real smooth the engine just feels smoother it's just beautiful man Talking about the engine, yes, the top heads of the bike is water cooled. That's why you have that uh, that cooler up in the front, and then you have this hose right here. You can't really see. I'm on the bike right now, but you have this pipe, this hose going into it. Um, so the the heads of the motor are running much cooler. I have noticed that the bike does not get that hot like my 21 Special does. That bike gets extremely hot at times, especially in the summer days. We all know that. But you know, you'll 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 sit in traffic and you just feel that heat coming off of the motor, and not with this. So this runs a lot cooler. It runs cooler, runs smoother. Um, suspension out here feels great, guys. The brakes feel amazing. I was testing out the brakes the other day, even just going around town, um, and even the highway, just doing some roll sudden stops um just go try, try to get that nice bite out of it and it has a big bite with those big brembo brakes and out in the front um what else i've seen a ton of companies already out there trying to play around with the mods on the bike as well guys so i've seen a few of the companies just put in t-bars already exhaust uh, I know Hoffman's already installing their carbon fiber parts on them. The front fender fits on here from the other road glides. The rear fender fits on here as well. Um, so pretty cool stuff. Low fuel range, 46 miles. That's what I have left. I am good. I am good because I'm close to home. Just going out of here. Just stepping out of here. It feels so light just to dip around, man. Really, really light. We can uh, go back on the uh, highway now. Fifth gear, 
cruising at 72. Want to show you guys that punch on it, power's there, goes right up to 82. Once again, punch up on it, power's there, going to six. And if you just pull crank back on the throttle, you'll see that needle just climb right away. You don't need to downshift. Look at that. You don't need to downshift. <laughs> That's six gear. So imagine if I was to downshift down to fourth. Let's talk about the exhaust real quick because I was on my bike earlier and I, uh, when I'm ready on my bike, I hear my exhaust. It's loud. Uh, this is real quiet. Obviously, it's a like stock exhaust. We're not expecting it to sound really loud or have that classic Harley Davidson sound that we all know of. That loud Harley Davidson sound. No. Is it going to have that classic V twin sound? Yes. But not that loud exhaust sound. As you can see, you probably can't even hear it that much. But it's really quiet. Um, I was, I even mentioned it in the video. I was doing a video earlier today. It might not be up yet, or it might be up. I was talking, uh, I was doing a comparison video between the 465 cam and the uh, 475 cam. I have a 465 fueling Reaper cam in my bike. Um, and I, I was talking about sounds and power delivery and everything. Um, and in, in that video, I was talking about how some people don't really care about the sound because depending on the type of cam that you put in the bike, that sound is going to differ as well. Um, and I, I mentioned that some people just... They, uh, they, they, they might want to just get the cam because of the a torque and the horsepower, not so much of that, of the lobe and the sound, right? So some people don't care about having a really loud bike, especially those who, who travel across country, who are in and out of state lines, uh, that they're, you know, they're crunching miles. They kind of want to enjoy the ride a bit more and not have those loud pipes just going on all day, you know? That there, there's people like that. Um, I, I don't, I don't do those type of low miles. I, uh, so I, I prefer my loud pipes. I love them, but I can see why some would want a quieter bike, you know. But let's just finish this video off. Sorry, we're going off topic right there. Um, the bike feels great. I think we spoke about pretty much everything that you need to know if you are in the market and you're looking at, you know, looking at this bike at the moment. Um, price point, guys, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a CBO. It's the only option you're going to have right now because there are no specials, there are no standards yet. This is the first year, this is a CBO, and this bike is going to run you 40 something thousand dollars. It is what it is. It, it's a CBO, it's a special bike. Um, so if, if that's too much for you, then just wait it out, man. Wait out till, till they, uh, come out with the regular models. Um, now would that regular model have everything that this bike has on it? Absolutely not. And that's going to be its own video as well. Um, it's going to have a lot of stuff, but not everything. Yeah, well, we'll leave that for another video. The bike feels great. Power delivery is there. Um, suspension wise brakes feel great as well lighting is amazing and um, I really recommend anyone buying this bike hell I want this bike <laughs> I wish I could keep this bike man um, it's great it's it's beautiful the design is amazing I think they did a really good job I think the company really set themselves up to go into the next 10 years if they wanted to with this design because it's just very futuristic um and it's something that's not gonna get dated quickly it's awesome give you guys a nice little walk around before we uh put it inside shut it off if you guys want to see the controls <sighs> controls it's like i said before it takes uh it's still taking a little little time to get used to them i feel like kind of like everything is like a little out of the way one thing that uh that i'll say is that i kind of find myself kind of like reaching over to get us some of the buttons so i just feel like everything's just so far away and yeah like even if your hands on the throttle and you want to let's say you want to press the horn you gotta kind of reach over that way um if you want to press the mode button you gotta reach over here um your dual turn signals right there 
your high beam, low beam toggles right there. But yeah, everything's just like, you need to reach over for all the buttons on this thing. Um, we didn't even talk about what I don't like about the bike. I don't like that. I, I don't I don't like the fact that all the music and all the volume stuff is on this side now. And I'm not saying it just because, I don't know, because I'm used to it on being on the left side like my other road glide. I'm saying it because this is a throttle. So if I need to, if I got my hand on the throttle and I need to reach over and try to access this, my hand's already coming off the throttle, right? So then I need to let go of the throttle in order to access all this. So that, that, that I don't like. It's, it's just weird to me. I brought it up to them at the press launch as well. I, I gave them that feedback. I just, I, I just don't like it. And even guys who had like bigger hands were, were giving them the same feedback. Um, what else do I not like about this bike? I don't think there, there's, there's anything else I could say that I don't like about it. Um, it's beautiful design. It's, it's a beautiful bike. I, I really can't say. I, I really, I mean, the seat. I'm not, it's not the most comfortable seat in the world. But it's a stock Harley seat, guys. And even though it is a CBO seat, a little upgrade from stock seats, it's it's not the best seat. <laughs> this is what I was trying to show you guys before. So this uh, this is all hidden behind the side fairing right here. So on the Street Glide, on the new Street Glide, uh, Street Glides don't have the side fairing, so that's exposed and it doesn't look good on the Street Glide. Um, but this goes down to your cooler um, everything's connected to the top heads on top and that's what keeps your uh, your heads cooler now it's all water cooled so that's it besides that I absolutely love everything about this bike anyways like I was saying before if you are in to this type of content you want to see more stuff like this make sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell button like always guys let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace